What's up guys, it's Vehicle Master 3000 here. What we're looking at today is the 2014 Toy State Road Rippers, Hot Wheels, Flash Drifters, Hollow Back. I believe this is slightly uncommon. And I think the version that was made just a year later that uh, that toy vehicle guy 9000 has, I don't think it's any less or more rare. It might be a little less rare, I'm not sure. It might be about the same, but I'm calling this slightly uncommon just because of when it was made. Because I don't think I've seen a video of one dated 2014. I thought I actually, I actually thought this was 2013 because I thought that's when I remember getting it. But I guess it's 2014 because that's what the cover says. That's what the date says. You'll see it in a minute. Now I got this. This is a, um, this is a childhood road ripper. I've had this actually since it came out, 2014, apparently. Because I remember, I remember walking out of Toys R Us with it and stuff. I remember... I think I went in there because I had like some money to blow or something and I wanted to get something cool. And I remember I remember walking around the, the uh, Toys R Us looking for something, just walking around the toy store and found this on a shelf it didn't actually belong on. I don't remember what aisle I was actually in. I just remember that it wasn't supposed to be there. So I pressed the buttons. I was like, oh, heck yeah, I'm getting this. So I got it, you know, obviously and I've had it ever since. Only problem it has it, it works perfectly, but the, the wheels are so messed up. Well, the, yeah, kind of messed up. It still works and it still runs, but, you know, I live in a pet infested house, got pets and stuff. So naturally, uh, 10 years of hair has accumulated up in these axles. Just about 10 years of hair. So it, it still works, it still runs, it is still fast as heck, but when you pick it up off the ground and stuff, it makes some not so very pleasant noises. You'll hear it in a minute too. I'm not, this thing is so fast, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show it when it runs, but I'm gonna try anyway. But anyway, we're gonna get on to the review. Like I said, got this at Toys R Us, you know? So we're gonna get on to the review. Got the front here with the headlights, the this will be cool to light modify. I don't know if it'll ever happen with this, but since it's a childhood vehicle and it somehow still works and still looks pretty good. But you know, got the lights, it's got the hood scoop thing that goes on the, goes from the grill to the windshield. That's the only thing it lights up is this engine. Oh, and the problem with the wheel, like the hair in the wheels is like, I don't know how to open that gearbox. I've opened this up to see if I can, but haven't been able to figure it out. So, yeah. If anybody knows how to, like, even just pop the gearbox up, up a little bit, or if anybody knows a trick for getting in between the wheel and the chassis so I can cut some of that hair out, let me know in the comments, because, yeah, it doesn't make the best noises. Like I said, it'll still run fine, but, yeah, 10 years of hair... And this thing is loaded to the ground, so I don't even know what it looks like up in there. Anyway, you got the windshield, got the buttons, you got the Hot Wheels symbol in the middle. It's got an engine in the back, which you can, hang on. Turn the camera. Oh yeah, there's the buttons. And it's got the uh, engine in the back. That might, I think that's why they call it the hollow back, because it has the engine back there and it's exposed. And you got, I don't even know if you can, probably can't even call that a trunk but it's where it would be you got the back here there's nothing really to look at on the back there's no license plate side views it somehow still has stickers from when I got it because I'm surprised because around that time I like to rip stickers off and I guess I didn't do it to this one so that's lucky looks the same on the other side the other side still has stickers Here's your choice state information and the Hot Wheels and whatnot. Has a pretty cool set of rims. Now I actually happen to have the actual Hot Wheels version of this too, like the uh, the die cast one. So let me show that real quick. I'm not gonna do anything detailed on that. I'm just gonna show what it looks like. This is the actual Hot Wheels hollow back. So 
you can see, it doesn't have those fancy rims. So this is a side-by-side -side comparison. I don't even know if you'll be able to see this one. This one is rivaled. So yeah, enough with that one. So let's show what this one does. This will make for a cool speaker mod too. I might do that. And this is, this right here is what 10 years worth of hair gets you. Show that on the underside so you can see the wheels and stuff. Show it on the top one more time. So yeah, that thing needs some desperate cleaning and it'll probably run, it'll probably still collect all kinds of hair before I ever clean it. But I think it's still gonna run good for a long time. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show, at least show it taken off. Then I'm gonna go and get it so y'all can see like just how this thing turns. This is more, this is more powerful than the Skitters, uh, the diff, like which is, you know, it's just a Toy State brand without the Hot Wheels. Now, I'm gonna get it. As you can see, actually, I don't know why it did that. It usually does a 180, but it didn't quite do it right this time. So I'm not gonna do it again, because it was, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Done this for long enough, peace out.